Hi everyone, this is Darko. Today I'll show you recommended picture settings for Philips 2023 TVs. Specifically in front of us is 43 inch POS 7608. However, these tips apply to other screen sizes and other models since picture controls are basically the same. So let's see what's available in the user menus and which changes I recommend. For tip number one, ensure your TV is running in home mode to have consistent parameters of the picture and to avoid seeing specifications and demo material running from time to time. To do that, let's open home menu, go to the top row and then to the right until you see gear icon, press OK, then scroll to general settings and here under location set it to home. This is what you do during initial setup of the TV, but if by mistake it was in shop mode, here you can change it to home mode. That's for tip number one. Tip number two is use the most accurate picture modes. For this TV and for Philips TVs this year, my recommendation is to use for SDR type of content, movie, for HDR 10 and 10 plus and HLG use HDR movie and for Dolby Vision use Dolby Vision Dark. Now if you want to play games on this TV then for SDR use game picture mode, for HDR 10 and similar content use HDR game and for Dolby Vision use Dolby Vision game picture mode. Finally on HDMI inputs you will also have monitor picture mode. This one you should use if you're connecting your PC and you want full color resolution to be seen on the screen. In addition to that, to maximize HDMI bandwidth of the TV, you need to enable one option. Now again, let's go to the settings menu, but this time I'll press shortcut button on the remote to see quick menu, then press arrow left and open all settings. Now if I go to general settings, here you will see HDMI Ultra HD. And here for each HDMI input, you can select limited or full bandwidth with this optimal control. In addition, if you want TV to automatically switch to game mode, then you have this optimal game mode option available. Now that you've selected the most accurate picture mode, the next tip is to adjust brightness of the picture for your environment and for your preferences. To do that, let's go to quick menu and then go to all settings. So now I'm sending SDR signal. Here you need to adjust backlight contrast. So you have slider to adjust it to the level you want. And addition to that, I recommend that you check gamma control, which is right here in the menu. So as you increase it, image gets darker or brighter as you decrease it. If you don't want to adjust brightness of the picture, you want the TV to do it. This one has light sensor, you enable it right here. So as you can see, if you enable it, then TV will automatically adjust this backlight contrast value. But I like to have control of the brightness, so then I adjust it myself and keep it like that. My next tip is that you recheck black and white level of the signal. If you're connecting PC or you want to recheck signal range, for that you have black level control here and video contrast control here. On my unit, video contrast control was not working, so for video signals 16 to 235 signal I was not able to avoid clipping of highlights however maybe with upcoming software updates Philips will address this. Next tip is to adjust sharpness you have sharpness control here which will affect edge enhancement of the image zero is neutral and I recommend to keep it like that and in expert mode you have super resolution, just this toggle on off. Again, for high quality signals I recommend to keep it turned off, but if you're watching some 
old content, something in lower resolutions and you want to boost uh, sharpness in this way, then these controls are available. If you want to reduce noise and compression artifacts, you have two controls available, expert mode settings and here noise reduction with three levels and MPEG artifact reduction also with three levels. Because of dated picture processor, this wasn't really effective, especially MPEG artifact reduction that was making image blurry and then a picture would, would transition from more blurry to less blurry, so definitely I was not happy with how it performs. And noise reduction is effective, but consider that it will decrease amount of details in picture, especially on higher intensity values. Next tip is to adjust color temperature. If you go to expert mode settings, under color temperature, my recommendation is that you use warm picture preset. If you have calibration equipment, you can tweak all those four presets, but bear in mind that only custom is input dependent, meaning if you've calibrated warm for SDR picture, for example, on HDMI 1, this warm will be same for HDR signals and for live TV and other inputs. But custom you can have separated, so you can have, for example, uh, custom can be HDR calibration and warm can be SDR calibration. This is how I did it. But bear in mind that Philips did not separate uh, different signal types to have different color temperature values. So only custom is input dependent and those other three are mutual across all inputs and all types of signal. So for uh, SDR warm, if I go back to two point alignment, you see my values. So this is for bright area of the picture. So high levels of the signal and this is for dark area. As you can see, only small adjustments done here. And then for HDR in custom, you see values like this. I also tweaked blue backlight to minus three. Finally, my tip is that you turn off dynamic contrast controls. In expert mode settings, you will find contrast mode with several values and dynamic contrast. It's very intensive already at minimum, so I don't recommend to use it at all. Now for HDR signals in expert mode settings, instead of dynamic contrast, you will have HDR plus. And here already at minimum, you see how it makes the image more brighter. And there is also automatic setting. It gives HDR a bit more energy, but it also increases artificial look and you will lose details in highlights. So for the most accurate image, actually my recommendation is that you watch HDR content with this control turned off. One quick tip related to Dolby Vision. If you're using Dolby Vision Dark, then make sure to boost color to 60. 60 was value on my unit, which I found optimal. Default 50 has undersaturated colors. And of course, if you boost it more, then colors become oversaturated. So I found value of 60 to be optimal on my unit. Guys, that's all I wanted to share in this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what are your thoughts on available picture controls. And if you own a Philips TV, how do you like it? And which tweaks do you recommend? And that's it. Thanks again. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.